<laughs> throwing a spout. So um, remember again with throwing on the wheel that you want your elbow, your left elbow tucked into your hip bone. You want your whole body as close as possible to the wheel because your power and your stability comes from your core, not your arms. So when you throw on the wheel, this is the part of the hand that's going to push from the side while the top of your right there is going to be pushed by your bottom of your palm. Okay. So, and you put more pressure, or slightly more pressure from the side than you do on the top. And you need just a teeny bit of clay for throwing a spout. You really don't need even this much, to be honest. Okay, once it's centered, then you can open it up. You guys remember opening? What do we do when we open? Okay. Right, your hands are touching, your elbows are still in. Um, the difference though with opening a spout as opposed to opening any other container, mug, bowl, whatever you're making, is that with those, you don't go all the way to the bottom, right? You have to leave the bottom. With this, you are going to go all the way to the wheel head, okay? So when I do this, when I open and find the center, it's not centered all the way. going to go all the way to the bottom. Okay, who remembers what it's called when the clay, you want it to compress inward? What's that called? Come on, those of you who've taken it before? Come on. No? Collaring. Okay, so if you look up at this turn right here, centering, opening, pulling the wall, trimming, collaring. Collaring can be done at any face. It's where you're choking the clay or compressing it to make it go in. Okay, so I'm decreasing the, the wide, the width on it. The wide. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, so now um, with pulling the wall, it's just like before. The only difference is now you're going all the way to the bottom instead of that inch, you know, that you'll usually have on the bottom. From here, your elbows are still tucked in, your hands are nice and tight. And as you pull up, who remembers? Do you put more uh, pressure on the outside or the inside? Equal. Nope, not equal. Outside. You want to make a volcano shape as opposed to a blown volcano. Okay, volcano or cylinder straight up and down is fine too. Okay. Now at some point, what's going to be my main problem here? I'm not going to be able to what, Miriam? I'm not going to be able to pull it. Why? What's wrong with my fingers? They're too short. I can't even reach the bottom right now. Okay. So you have two choices. You continue pulling from where your fingers can reach. Okay, that's an option. Um, a trickier option, but totally doable, especially if you're trying to um, pull something really long for your spout. This is called a throwing stick. Um, difficult to maneuver, and it's also hard because you lose the sensation of how thick it is. Because when you put that in there, you're not going to be able to feel it more. So you have to go really carefully, really kind of slowly. But I'm going to put it all the way to the bottom, and it catches if you're not careful. And I'm going to push with both the throwing stick and now the outside, but I can't feel, so I don't even know. It's really hard to feel how much pressure. But you can go really, really long if you absolutely need to. Who remembers, if you're in the middle of a pull, should you ever stop and start at the bottom again? That's really bad, because if you stop in any one spot, that's where it's going to rip. Okay, for example, if I started a pulling it right here, and I hung out too long right there before I kept going, then the next time I pulled that wall, more than likely that's where it'll rip. I'm trying to make it rip, it won't do it. Well, fine, don't screw up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and collar this again. 
it's getting a little fat. It's over here by this door. This is my route. Oh, no problem. Okay. What are your questions so far? Come on, yell them out. Wow, oh, that's a great question. Okay, I'm not done yet. Hold on. One more pull. Watch, this is where I'll kill it. Just kidding. Does it have to be a specific size? No, it depends on what you're making. Oh, that wasn't far enough down. Oh, crap. I'm in the wrong angle. I can't feel. Okay, there we go. This spout will be what you can dream up and what you can create. Like if you're going to attempt a spot on the wheel, this is going to be all about what you are capable of. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and be done with this. I could work some more on it if I really wanted to push it. I could continue to color that in and continue to pull, but I'm going to stop. And then what you do is you, you pull out your wire tool. Okay, so this is where it gets, um, this is how it attaches. So on the bottom, this is when you look at a teapot, the spout has to be cut at an angle in order to be able to attach to the side of the pot. Okay, so in order to cut that, eh. Take your wire tool, you know, I just got it in my eyes. And you're going to cut it at an angle, and I don't care if you go this side down or this side up, um, but you're going to cut this right there at a steep angle because you can fix the angle later, okay, if you need to fix it at a different angle. Okay, and you pull that off, and then that will be extra meat, but typically speaking, that right there is how it'll attach, okay. Then, if you want to go a step further, your spout, you know how like some teapots have that spout that's angled this way? You could also cut this off that way and angle it this way as well. You don't have to, but it's an option. Okay? Okay, you can stop recording.